Something really exciting I want to show you guys. He also got me little flowers. I'm kind of sad because the cats don't give a shit that I'm here. Happy Friday, everybody. I'm still kind of working at the moment. I'm waiting for an influencer to go live with their last IG story frame. Love that they scheduled this after work hours, like literally on a Friday, like the worst day possible. But I did not decide on this day because I would not do this to myself. So I'm just waiting for one more story frame. I am gonna get ready because I am going for dinner with my friend who's visiting from Calgary. It was supposed to be a couple other people from university, but one of them's sick and then one of them had alternative plans. So now I'm gonna be there with like six people I don't know and then the one friend from Calgary. That'll be fun. Not that I'm not trying to make friends. I just, I don't know anyone there. Actually, I know her coworker, David. This week has just flown by. This is like my first full week back from vacation. Oh, yay. I think he posted the last one. So now that that's done, I can close my laptop actually. Got a new work laptop. They gave me a Pro, which is so nice because this is what I use as my personal laptop. Prior to this, I was using an Air. I asked IT. They were like, this laptop is so old. I'm going to get ready now in just a big fat dump in our bathroom, so <laughs> I, I love the smell of that. Oh, I got our film developed, so I got the pictures back. So many of them were so cute. Look how cute this photo is. This literally is a professional picture. I also don't know how I got 38 pictures. I also did accidentally open up the back, so there's some light leaks. That was my bad as well, because I forgot how to use it because I never use my film camera. Don't remember taking like half of these photos when I was like wasted. Thank you guys so much for watching another video of mine. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I post every single Friday. I just finished doing my makeup. I tried to do more of a downturned eyeliner. I don't know. I feel like it looks the same on me. It's time to get dressed. Kind of basic. My door. I just feel like I don't have to think about anything when I wear something like this. It's just like easy. I also have some stains Oops. on here, so let me go clean that right now. Putting on some amber oil to make myself smell good for people that I don't know. Mm, I don't know what I feel like wearing today. I might do Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. I love the atomizer on this. It's so good, even though this is the tackiest bottle I've ever seen. There was a girl on the Mexico trip, and I was going to ask her if she was wearing this because she smelled like this every single day that we saw her. I'm off now. I will take clips on my phone. Good morning. I feel like I look like I'm in rough shape. I just slept really late. Like I got home, I walked home actually. Aiden met me halfway because he was worried about me. Got back with Aiden around like three and realistically didn't sleep until like 3.20. That's why it's 1.45 and I haven't left or done anything yet. I literally just got out of bed. Last night was so fun. It was so nice to see Jess meet all of her friends. Not gonna lie, I feel like getting older, I've been not socially anxious, but I've just been like less inclined to meet people unless I really have to. Everyone was so nice there everyone was so friendly and i should have thought that anyways because jess is also the most friendly and like hospitable person anyways something really exciting i want to show you guys finally found a hand mixer it bought me a hand blender there's a difference i started to like baking and i found it really really difficult to manually mix everything especially like doughs and stuff like that i got a hand mixer and look at this color she's beautiful i got her off facebook marketplace i could not find a pink one for the life of me and i knew i really really wanted a pink one. I don't know if you can even buy it anymore in stores. In really, really good shape. I just did notice that there was some crustiness in uh. here in this little divot, so I'll clean that with like a toothpick or whatever. One tiny little scratch on it, but other than that, perfect shape. It also came, obviously, with the two little spatula type rotating things. I don't know what to call them. I love this color. Like, it's so beautiful. KitchenAid only releases colors temporarily, so if you want a color now, you might not be able to get it later. When I do get a stand mixer eventually, which I think I will when I own a home, I don't know what colorway I want now because I just have a mix of everything. So I think the first thing I'm gonna make is tiramisu I have a galentine's get together next weekend and i am planning to make tiramisu for them my mom's always loved tiramisu it's always been her favorite ifaz loves it too it was 50 dollars, which i feel like for facebook marketplace seems overpriced which i don't disagree with because i can't find it anywhere else i really just did not want to pass up the opportunity to have this i do need to sanitize her anyways aiden and i have a reservation so early today there was no available times except for 5 p.m and it's currently 2 p.m i might actually do my nails because they are crazy rusty musty and i really want to do short nails with like a dark gray polish
Did a really, really quick walk. The city is so dead. I don't know what it is, but I have to get ready now because we literally have to leave in like 45 minutes to go to the restaurant. My hair is so funny here. I was going to wash my face, but I feel like I might not now because honestly, I'm kind of lazy. I don't even want to put on a lot of makeup. I went back to my parents' house. I had this NYX marshmallow primer. So I have to pick it back up and use it. I love putting on makeup, but I just feel like it's a waste of time because by the time I get back home, I've been only out for two hours and I spent like an hour and a half getting ready usually. I feel like most weekends I'm just like I can't wait to sleep. I can't wait to sleep. I actually want to do like absolutely nothing most days But then I feel like I'm wasting my weekend. I'm excited for dinner tonight. We're going to Gusto. We're going to the one on the east end Oh, no, my makeup brush just fell in. That's kind of gross. Oh, I wanted to talk about how I've just been like not as social and how I don't feel like socializing with people. I feel like I get really tired now, as you guys can tell. I like to spend a lot of time alone. It's kind of relaxing. Growing up, people made introverts seem like a bad thing. Like everyone's different. After last night, I was like, oh yeah, I kind of miss just being social and putting myself out there. When you get to a certain age, when you're no longer in school, it's really hard to make friends outside of work. I have this preconception that they might not like me. Most times it's just in your head because most times it's just in my head. And then the people end up being really nice and then I regret thinking that they would think poorly of me. I was actually thinking because my friend Nicole, she actually moved out of Toronto, so she's no longer here, which I'm really sad about. Before she left, she would always show up, even if she didn't know anyone. When I had to go to that thing last night, I was thinking about her because I was like, she always showed up when she didn't know anyone. I channeled that energy. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Always been really, really bad at presenting. And I feel like I'm not the most confident person because I feel like if you're confident, you're confident at failing too. You just don't care because you're so secure. When I was in Mexico, I was thinking about how if I was actually really confident, I would have done those like random activities or challenges in the pool. I just didn't have that confidence. I don't feel secure enough to fail in front of a bunch of random strangers that I'm never gonna see again. So if you think I'm confident, I'm not. I also feel like my camera's doing that weird lighting thing that I did in Mexico. I feel like YouTube has really allowed me to become better at speaking because I'm so used to speaking to a camera that when I do presentations and they're through a camera, it literally just feels like I'm doing YouTube. But I feel like talking in person and doing a live presentation is so different because I actually have people in the room. I'll get better at that with time. Hopefully. I really need to hurry up. It's already 4.10 and we need to leave in 20 minutes. We're back home now. I am very full. It was really good. I got a pasta I haven't got from there before and even got a little lasagna. Honestly, I feel like their menu was like pretty similar. I wanted to do my nails, so I think I'm gonna shower really quick. I want to take off my makeup because I don't like wearing makeup for very long. And then I'm gonna go into painting my nails. And then Aiden and I wanted to just like watch a movie and hang out. to the gym instead of being a lazy little rat. I did wake up kind of late because Aiden and I decided for some reason to sleep at 3 a.m. I think we have a problem. I'm distracted by my beautiful little nails. I'm in love. Loving short nails. I'm gonna try to do legs. I woke up late like I said so it's 11 30. I have a massage at one o'clock so I brought my jacket actually in here. Anyways enough rambling. Let's go to the gym. Pretty am scared to do legs because I haven't done them in so long and when I did shoulders the other day I was like so sore.
Hello, I'm back home now. My massage felt so good. I actually signed up for a membership at Hand and Stone. I don't know how the membership actually works. I don't know. It's like a lot cheaper. Usually with tax and everything, my massage ends up being like $150. With the membership rate, it ends up being $99. Aiden just stepped out to buy us some lunch. I think he just bought some soup. I'm done getting ready. I'm wearing my Lululemon Define cropped jacket. I got for Christmas, but I haven't worn it yet. I dug out this weird old lip balm thing, and then I put on the Clarins lip gloss or lip oil. I think it looks cute. Anyways, look how cute Aiden is. He got me these little flowers. Aww. Big flowers, actually. These are the big flowers. He also got me little flowers. Fortunately, one of the tulips broke, so he had to like pop it in here. He did it because he's leaving me. He's leaving for four days for a work thing. Lighting looks so much nicer over here. It's so glowy and pretty. I think I need to start getting ready every day so I feel more like put together. Because most days I just like don't do anything and then I feel really, really gross and disgusting because I haven't even changed out my pajamas and I've been like working for eight hours straight. But I'm sure everyone's like that. We're gonna go now. my cat look at him i just cleaned all their litter boxes because they have four of them since no one's home he's such a little snuggle bug i'm gonna be here editing for a little bit while aiden's at hockey bye Love you. Love you. I'm still editing. Nothing has changed. I still have like an hour of footage to go through i'm kind of sad because the cats don't give a shit that i'm here hey buddy i love him technically kitty number two because he's not the og og's over here og kitty yeah. I have to be so careful though because my allergies are so bad. Okay, look how cute he is. He always does this when he wants people to pet him. What are you doing? Other than him being a menace, he is really cute. He's like a little puppy. A little crusty, but I am back home. I did just do my full skincare routine plus some extractions because I noticed there was some congestion on my face. It's always there. I do still have like quite a bit of editing to do. I do apologize if this vlog was a little slower. The natural flow of my life isn't going to be always exciting. I had a really good weekend, I want to say overall, other than Ruby Soho, Soho charging me $25 for Mark. I will see you guys next Friday. Thank you so much for watching and I love all of you guys.